The first part of the test is multiple choice. All the questions are based on the highway code, know your traffic signs and driving or riding the essential skills. They won't be exactly the same as the revision ones you've been practicing, but they'll be on the same subjects. You can do a 15 minute practice session before you start. Your answers don't count towards the final score. During the actual test, you'll be asked 50 questions and you need to get at least 43 right to pass this half. You'll see a timer in the top right hand corner. This shows you how much time you've got left. When you finish the test, clicking here will end the multiple choice part. You can then either have a three minute break or start the hazard perception part of the test. Before you start this part, you can watch a short video about how it all works. The test itself has 14 film clips. Each one will have a developing hazard, but one of the clips will have two. A developing hazard is something that would cause you as the driver to take some form of action, such as changing speed or direction. These are the ones you'll be marked on, and you can get up to five points for each of them. So, the earlier you recognise and respond to them, the better. Don't worry though, you won't lose points for responding to others. You need to get at least 44 points out of 75 to pass this part. You respond by clicking the mouse button as soon as you see a hazard developing. A red flag will appear at the bottom of the screen to show this has been done. If you just keep clicking or click in a pattern, you will see a warning message and you won't get any points for that clip. When you finish the test, click the continue button. The receptionist will give you your results shortly after. If you pass, keep the letter safe as you'll need it when you book your practical test.